welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics now in this thing in the last lecture we had uh, learned about the criteria for well behaved wave function or acceptable wave function all right so in this thing we uh, will solve a problem and try to understand how to distinguish between a uh, acceptable wave function or a non non acceptable wave function okay so this quantity it says that the function exponential e to the power alpha x square well alpha is a quantity greater than 0 positive quantity is not an acceptable wave function for bound system because so we have four options we need to select one of them there is a multiple choice question so what we need to do is first of all the first criteria what we have that like which we learned was that psi psi should be should be continuous finite and single value all right so this is the criteria now it doesn't it also says it should be a for a bound state system so for bound state what we need is for psi to represent bound state for psi to represent bound state system psi should as as x tends to plus minus infinity psi should tend to zero all right so this are the criteria which should be fulfilled for it to be an acceptable wave function all right acceptable wave function now it says not what is the reason now let's check e to power exponent alpha x square now this is a positive number you can take any number say you take two now instead of alpha is any number so you can let let's assume that alpha is two all right so if we put it put two here and we we can plot the graph we cannot it, it need not be uh, required uh, but we can see that uh, this quantity if you plot if you uh, put the values you will get for each you will always get a like there will be no gap in the wave function in the plot okay so this function is continuous all right this is continuous you can check if you want to put any value and see now this is finite but one one should check whether it's finite everywhere or not for x tending to plus minus infinity psi or this quantity psi which is given as say we took it to be 2 alpha 2 x square what it will give it will e into plus minus infinity whole square and this will give us infinity now this is not finite everywhere so given psi this e 2 x square or e alpha x square is not finite everywhere since it blows up and we we can see that for it to rep also represent a bound state it should also have this this uh, should fulfill this quantity this uh, criteria so it does not do that all right so it fails at this thing it, it is single valued of course it is single valued it is continuous single valued you just check for each value of x there should be one value of uh, like if you say that a function is single valued so the reason single valued kill kya chahiye ki aapke paas a value of one for each value of x you should have one value of value of each value of x uh, there should be there should be one value of psi x all right so we can see that this has nothing to do with this thing that it is see because it is not continuous it is continuous it is multi-valued no it is not normalizable actually see when when these these criteria are not fulfilled this this side test to this thing then we we also learned that if for x tends to zero psi goes to does not tend to zero 
does not tend to zero as in this case psi tends to infinity now this quantity this quantity also goes to infinity so this means that this is not normalizable okay so the correct answer would be c option okay it is not multi valued it is single valued okay and the only criteria it, it, it along among this uh, which is correct is the c option so think about it i have given you all the details of the uh, question okay and try to look for the clues in the question itself all right had it the, had this alpha been negative then it would have become a acceptable wave function just think about it why all right so the question says that indicate which of the following is our acceptable wave functions in quantum mechanics in the range uh, minus infinity to plus infinity all right so see each of the functions so first let's take up the first function which is psi equal to x now we know that for psi to be acceptable uh, in this range it should go it should be finite single valued and um, so continuous everywhere this x is a straight line right straight line in we know that this if you plot this straight line it's like this this psi this is x now this quantity if you from the graph itself we can say this is single valued for each value of x there is a single value of psi single valued this is fine not finite everywhere this is continuous but right? there is no gap okay we can say that is there is no gap in the graph now this is not finite everywhere not finite everywhere you can say see why because if you x put x tends to plus minus infinity psi also goes to plus minus infinity so this criteria for acceptable wave function it fails all right now let's see the second uh, thing it gives you that psi is equal to x square now this thing that if you can plot this is a parabola right you can without even plotting you can say this is a parabola now in this thing again for each value of x there is a single value of y, psi now this is continuous there is no gap in the graph and what you can say this is this is again this is not finite everywhere you can check again why and how not finite everywhere not finite everywhere now if you put x tends to plus minus infinity psi will go to pl plus infinity right so it's diverging so again this is not acceptable now if we look at the third one that is sin x okay psi equal to sin x so what we have is you can plot this thing that so this is the plot of a sin graph now we can can see this is except okay oh, yeah. let me draw it for brightly okay this is a graph or right, an approximate graph and what happens is in this case the wave function like this is psi right this is x now we can see that this is continuous this is continuous this is a single valued like for each value of x there is one value of sin x single value now one thing is there that this is finite everywhere even if you put a uh, psi equal, uh, x tends to plus minus infinity as limit now say sin will sin x will tend to plus minus 1 okay it will take either of the value it will lie between these two values all right so it is a finite quantity this is always finite now if you take the fifth one all right so fifth quantity which is psi is equal to exponential sorry now let's talk about the fourth quantity this is exponential minus x 
So this graph we had already drawn in, uh, learned in how to draw this graph. It looks like this. Now this is an exponential decaying graph. Now this quantity, there is no gap, right? There is no gap, so this is continuous. This is again single valued. For each value of x, there is a single value of psi. Now let's talk about the finiteness. For x tends to plus infinity, the psi tends to zero. This is okay. Okay, this is correct. Now what happens if we uh, say that x tends to minus infinity. Now this becomes minus of minus infinity, this becomes positive and exponential positive infinity, this goes to infinity. All right, so this diverges in this region. Okay, this diverges, it, it can, it blows up. Okay, so what happens is what you can say is this quantity cannot represent, it's not finite everywhere, not finite everywhere. All right. It's not finite everywhere. Now let's take the fifth one. Fifth wave function we had, I think we had plotted it earlier. This is a Gaussian wave function, okay. Uh, and let's plot it. So it looks like this. It's a bell-shaped curve. It's a very famous curve. So this curve, you can see that this is this is continuous because there is no gap, okay. Continuous. Now this is single value for each value of x there is single value of uh, psi and then for x tends to plus minus infinity psi tends to infinity all right so sorry this goes to zero all right so what we can see is that this carefully gives you now, if you do a careful analysis, it says only acceptable. It does not say any bound state. All right. So acceptable only should consist this. It should be continuous, single valued, and finite everywhere. Okay. We rarely check for momentum. Okay. Uh, so in this case, you do not you don't need to check the moment criteria for the momentum. But from the graphs given, from the functions given, you can just see that which uh, like it should be single valued, continuous, and finite everywhere. Only these, this graph and this graph satisfies this function, satisfies this acceptable condition. It's be careful, it's not saying bound state or unbound state. If you try to ask you about bound state, if the question would have said bound state, which of them represent a bound state, then the appropriate answer would have been minus x, x e to the power exponential, uh, uh, sorry, exponential to the power minus x squared. And unbound state, Unbound state wave function would be sin x. And if says acceptable, acceptable wave function, okay, acceptable wave function, then both will be correct. Now, the correct answer is this A. All right. So in this question, which of the following functions represent a physically acceptable realistic wave function for the bound state for the particle? Now, a and small, capital A and small a are positive real constants. All right. So let's take up the first function. We don't need to plot every time. All right. Uh, we can just uh, see it from the properties of the functions. Now, this quantity, see, every time we check the same thing, continuity, single value, and finite value it's everywhere. So in this case, if you put x equal to pi by 2, now the psi will become infinite, right? For tan, it becomes infinity, right? For this quantity, psi x is given, if you plot this thing, it says that like uh, 0 c for x greater than this thing and for x less than a. So if you plot this graph, you have this kind of graph. This is psi, this is x. Now this is c. Now this is minus a, this is plus a. This is how the graph looks like. All right, this is zero for this quantity. This is zero. This quantity mod x greater than a. This means that x is greater than a and x is less than minus a. And 
this quantity that x less than a means this implies that x lies between minus a and plus a so for this one we have this like this quantity it's zero for this and zero for this region but for this region it is c now we can see that at this region there is a discontinuity so it is discontinuous discontinuous at x equal to plus minus a all right it jumps the wave function jumps all right so this is not correct like this cannot be represent a acceptable realistic wave function for bound state all right for the particle now this quantity that psi is equal to x square e to power x now i told you that for plotting this kind of functions where there is a polynomial and there is a um, this thing that it's exponential function for uh, small values for more small values of x means near z x equal to 0 uh, this function will proportional to x square and for large values large values of x what we get is psi is proportional to the exponential function whatever the exponential function be okay well, the large values means at, at near infinity now if you plot this graph what do you get if you plot this graph you can see that this will be like this it near x equal to 0 this will be a parabolic curve and then for we know that for exponential graph this is like this if you multiply them now for exponential graph this will go to this way and this will go this way all right so this is an approximate graph you can check this is the form now one can see that for x tending to plus infinity psi becomes infinite because it follows exponential form for large values okay if you talk about plus infinity psi uh, let's write it down again plus infinity then psi goes to infinity right plus infinity so that this diverges this is not finite everywhere so we can write that it is not finite everywhere finite everywhere all right now in the last option d option it says that psi x is equal to x square e x minus one so we can say that for x near one for small values of x again small values of x psi is proportional to x square now for large values of x for large values of x psi is proportional to exponential a x square now we had plotted this graph in the lecture where i discussed about graph plotting see now you see why it's important right so if you plot this graph it will look like this that this is x square and then it will follow the exponential part so this region it x for the psi follows x square and this region psi is proportional to exponential minus x square this region also the psi is proportional to exponential and minus x square okay so uh, so we can see that for bound state realistic wave function for a function to represent this this is not correct this is not allowed this is not allowed so this is the correct answer now i'm trying a new uh, technology today like it's not new for everyone but this is new for me so in this question we have this this is a question from tifr uh, this is a question from tifr 2013 now it says that a particle of energy e moves in one dimension under the influence of a potential energy potential vx okay this is a <clears throat> it is the same as a potential energy but in quantum we talk about potential and potential if e is greater than vx for some range of x now this has some meaning okay we'll understand but it, it need not be required directly for solving this problem which of the following graphs represent a bound state wave function of the particle this is the important part 
Now, the criteria we had already discussed earlier. So the size should be single valued, finite everywhere, and continuous. All right. And the another condition was that, as like we had already set it down again, psi should be continuous, finite, and single valued everywhere. Right, and the other point was that as x tends to for bound state plus minus infinity, psi should go to zero. All right, so we need to check this back there. Let's start with d. Now, in this case, one can see that there is a discontinuity in this region. Okay, there is a discontinuity in this region right so this is this region there's a discontinuity right so what happens is like in this case we can see that for the d option this the psi is discontinuous at x equal to 0 right now let's talk about the c option in this case it is continuous it is finite everywhere and single valued everywhere for each value of x there is a single value of psi right it's it's continuous everywhere there is no gap and it's for each for single value of x there is a single value of psi right all right so you can write this that in this case the, for this cannot represent a bound state because for x tending to plus minus infinity psi tends to infinity one can see this thing here okay for x tending to infinity the psi goes to infinity in this case also and minus x this goes also infinity right now let's check this option the d option in this case what happens is this this is single valued fine this is no there is no gap you get it's continuous all right and this quantity this is single valued continuous and finite everywhere now the thing is for bound state this should this should this is not going to zero as x tends to plus infinity psi does not go to zero in this case also in this side also that psi is finite a option we have that the psi we can see that it's continuous everywhere it's continuous everywhere right there's no gap and it is finite everywhere for each value of x there is a single value of uh, psi x all right if you do a vertical line test all right so what happens is for each value of x there is a single value of psi all right in this case also the same thing all right now this is going to zero as x tends to plus minus infinity as x tends to plus minus infinity this x tends to plus minus infinity psi goes to zero right now this is this wave function this given wave function can represent a bound state wave function of the particle okay so the correct answer is a now this statement that e should be greater than vx for some range of this statement that e should be greater than for some range of x uh, we if we recall the lecture on bound state and unbound state we had this uh, graph we had this graph like this that there is a minimum there is a uh, this was the graph right, right for vx in unbound we have discussed this now if we have this energy energy is say at this level this is say e total energy of the particle now we we can see that this for the bound state this 
e total energy is greater than this region of vx this v these values of vx okay so from the graph itself we can understand that why this statement is given okay this we can see that at this point like the e is greater than vx now for this only these values only for this this range of x only for these for these x only okay not for the whole range this is this has to be true for it to represent a bound state all right thank you for watching have a great day you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends